This is Phoebe, and in this tutorial I'm going to talk about a couple of ways to get your photo into a shape, a particular shape, other than just a circle or a square, perhaps, if you were cropping. So, in Elements, if you've had Elements, it's much easier to do because there's something called a cookie cutter tool, and you just draw that shape out, and then it automatically crops out the extra information in the picture. But when you use Photoshop, you'll find there's no cookie cutter tool, so we have to do this. Uh, there's one of two ways we can do this, so I'll show you both ways here. I've got a photo, and both of these methods will start by picking something from the custom shapes tool here. I've got a shape already picked out I'm going to use, and I'm going to draw over my photo and hold down shift as I do so to keep it the shape in proper proportion here. And I'll just, I'm holding down my spacebar also so that I can move the shape around as I draw out so I can pretty much place it exactly where I want right off the bat. If you didn't, then you can go over here, choose your move tool, and move the shape around. You can even lower the opacity a bit if you need to see the photo below it, so that would help you with placement. But now I've got it pretty much where I want it. Now this is the method I would use pr that works pretty much just like the cookie cutter shape, because we're going to cut out a piece of this picture that looks like this shape. So I'm going to jump down here, click on my photo layer here, and hit Control or J or Command and oh wait, no, I skipped a step. Hang on, <laughs> I've got to make the selection first. Hold your Control key or Command key on the Mac, click on this box that represents that custom shape, you'll get your marching ants. Now you go down on your photo layer selected, hold Control or Command and then the J key and hit that. And now if you look at the layers palette, you'll see if I turn these other two layers off, now I've got something that looks exactly like that cookie cutter tool would have done, where I've got transparency all around my photo. And I would just take this layer and drag it and drop it over to my layout. But let's say you don't want to do something that permanent. So the other method works kind of like a template would work, in that we'll group this layer down, we'll create a clipping group. But before you can do that, if you're working with a photo that you've just opened up and it's a JPEG, and it says background and it's got a little lock on there, you'll have to double click this layer to unlock it. When the new the naming dialog comes up, just hit OK and it will name it here as layer zero. You have to do that so that you can take the shape layer that you've created now, click on it and drag it and drop it below that because we're going to now create the clipping group with this shape. So go back to your photo layer here, click on it to highlight it, and hold Control, Alt and G, or that's Command Option and G on a Mac and now you've got your photo cut into this shape, but it's not permanently cut. If you look at your your layers palette here, you'll see I've got the whole photo here. And if I select that layer and use the move tool, I can move this picture around a bit too still. So that's the way to not permanently cut the shape out and give you a little bit more wiggle room. And then I would probably hold down my shift key to select both of these layers and drag and drop both of these layers onto my layout if I wanted to do that. Another way, instead of just custom shapes, that you can do with this is, I'm going to back up here for a minute, there. You could also use this with text, if you've seen some of those things where you've got a um, photo that's in a letter of text or something here. So I've got one already set up here, but really this is just a, the letter G, as you can see on the layers palette, made in a very large point setting. It's like 500 or maybe even more than that and I would hold Control and Alt and G, or again Command and Option and G, and now as you can see it's grouped within this particular uh, letter, this G letter here. So I could now again, I would hold Shift and drag and drop both layers over to my work. So that's a couple of ways to get your photo cut out into some interesting shapes. I'm CB and thanks for watching.